Hello guys, welcome to The Ones Under. Today is Gourmet Gamble Day, and it involves a mystery chef, 10 mystery ingredients, and a cook-off basically. So the rules of Gourmet Gamble is that me and my friend Isaac, we both get five ingredients each at random, we both pick a crate each, we have 20 minutes to make whatever we can, and then at the end of the video, the judge will taste both dishes, decide his favorite based on presentation and taste. Here is box A, and here, box B. Enjoy. To simply decide who gets what mystery box, Isaac, left or right? I'm gonna go with left. Beautiful. You have box number two. And let's see what I got in box number one. Welcome guys, I guess I'm going first. Ah, so, how uh, nice to start with a potato. Now let's have a look what we got. Chocolate. <laughs> You mean to do with chocolate and a fucking potato? Jesus Christ. Oh, don't worry. Pickles. That'll save the day. Nice. Alright, finally, salt and pepper. Good. Salt and pepper goes on everything, by the way. Everything. Garlic. Very nice. Could be worse. You don't sleep on the gouda. Oh, 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 what do we got today? Nice. Wraps. Got the Wise Boys Vegan Garlic Aioli. Not bad. One potato. One barbecue. The judge knows me well. Some nashies. Strawberries. One good old chili. I don't really know what to do here. This is. What do you do with this? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, I'm gonna think. Mushrooms. Alright, so my plan is basically I'm gonna start off with chips. Peel and wash potato first. By the way, I already washed my hands because obviously, you know, what you gotta do. But I'll do it again, just for the can. Get that potato washed. Alright, last Alright, I'm gonna peel these bad boys. Easy. So you only want to get that technique in. This is what the professional chef taught me. Back in uh back in college. Oh well, don't be scared. Don't be scared. How do you fit strawberries into a potato dish? Everything works. Uh, um, okay. Gonna stop thinking, we're gonna get into action. I was a cook for three years. This is how they do it. I'm already fear of Warden Trimlin with his little booties. <laughs> Look at that. Perfectly diced. Just the way you want it. Now, chips. Uh, personally, like I'm uh, in surface. Now, I just want thin, nice, crispy chilies, just like mum used to make. Look at those potatoes. See? You know it's a good potato. It's a nice, paley white. <laughs> just like me. <laughs> Can't say that. <laughs> chilies! Step two get your garlic. Now, this is an ancient. T Ooh! Now, you see, you want to use the whole garlic, by the way. Some people ask me, hey Matt, how much garlic is too much garlic? I say, have you still got garlic? The answer is yes, you haven't put enough garlic in. And chuck it straight in there. So far, we've got the mushies. I would actually add salt and pepper at this point, but I'm not allowed salt and pepper. That's a different story. Never really good with chilies. I really stung my wing. I realized the problem now, guys. Wrong knife. Never cut one of these things before, man. Let's 
See, normally, you're meant to take out the seats. We ain't no pussy today. Hoping the mystery judge ain't a pussy either. What we thought. How do I know the celebrity ship? Well, glad you asked. See, we go way back. Way back, way back, way back. Before he was famous, we were actually prison cellmates. Got into uh, cooking, started in the cafeteria at the prison. He actually got hired, and the lunch lady got fired. And he was a, he was a real prisoner. True story. I am gonna make something really good. You wanna use the trick? Squish it with the knife? And then just fucking cut the shit out of it. When you're cooking for a celebrity chef, it's gonna be different. You can't do what everyone else is doing. It's not gonna work. Alright, my eyes are starting to water a little bit. It means they're chopped enough. I don't know what to do with this potato still. You just cut the stuff up and nothing good this. Alright, we're gonna make our little um, stir fry salad up first. I know what you're saying. Forty. Strawberries and chilies don't work. We're gonna pretend that we're all in here today. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that bro, perfect slice. Straight in. And pickles. Now, gotta incorporate the pickles somehow. A nice thin pickles. <laughs> Probably wondering, Matt, what are you doing? You know? I don't really know. Just go for it. You want to come over? Bring it over to your frying pan. First, vegetable oil. Very important. Ooh. Now, chuck your taters in. Oh, look at that. Eat it. Now, unlike corners, we're going to be using salt and pepper. The two most important ingredients in any dish. Let's give that a good seasoning. Nice. Nice. Taro. Gonna do something with this. Ooh, look at that. Perfect every time. I'm too good. Matt, look out, buddy. A little bit of history for you. Back in the day, the first potato was actually discovered by a guy named Peter Ada. He lived in England. Where the chip came from? I mean, it was actually stolen by the French though, but that's a different story for a different day. As you can see, we've got one nice, good, glistening potato. <laughs> Let's cut it down the hammer, down the middle, and there's some nice circles. Can't really get it wrong with a circle, unless it's an oval. But we're not going to worry about that today. The plan is we're going to cut them into little squares. We're going to fry it off with all this goodness. We can get these. They're already kind of small, but we're going to make them even smaller. Little tiny tacos. The idea is I'm going to put all of this together in the pan. I'm just going to bang it on a taco. I hope the judges don't hate it. Now you want to add your garlic right at this point. There we go, salt, pepper, and garlic. How are we not gonna win? And guess what else we got? We have cheese. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> Look at that, just starting to get brown. Beautiful. Now this is where you wanna add your pickles. Most people would wait a little bit longer, but me, it's a bit crazy. So we're just gonna add the pickles in now. Look at that. Now, you might ask that, what do you call this thing? Fish. I call it the P, G, and C. Peanut. <laughs> uh, pickled garlic chips. Yeah, P, G, C. P, G, and C. Oh! Ooh. Once again, I would add salt and pepper at this moment. But I can't. So, uh, so let's move over. Pretty cold. Give me a moment to, uh, to get the tacos ready. Show you a trick I learned back in Nantes. Um... 
Oh, look at that. My genius. Look at that. Snack later. Come on. Ooh, that's hot. Alright. A little bit of oil. A little swish and finish. It's not even hot. Oh no. Go, Matt. Stand back. I'm trained. Oh, I was never actually trained there. <laughs> oh, it smells nice and sweet, like a like strawberry jam. And now, last but not least, just want to add enough Gouda cheese just to cover everything. So hopefully, it just tastes like cheese, and we get the win. Gouda. <laughs> Gouda. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just as the cheese starts to melt, that means it's getting re serving. This is where you actually want to get your chocolate chips. This is the part of the dish that makes it really fancy. Okay, yeah. add more salt, more pepper. Voila! That there. Every person in Poland eats this for lunch every day. We're gonna toast them for all. That's how you get them. The judge on your side. You gotta play it up, and you got two minutes to play it up, bro. Two minutes to play it up. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, look at that. Look like biscuits. All right. I think we're done. It's time to play. This is the most I know it ain't looking that good, but trust me, man, it's good. It's good. This judge is not even gonna know what hit him. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, how am I gonna lose? Nice, nice. Three seconds to plate up. I'm done. And done, that's time. All right, Matt, how do you think you went today? Well, honestly, I didn't think it too bad. I mean, everything came to well. Flavors combined it. I had salt and pepper, unlike Gordon. So yeah, I think, I think if I put enough cheese on it, the judge might not be able to taste the shittiness that is underneath the cheese. And I might win. But yeah. How do you think you did? I got the avocado. I got the avocado. I was just sitting there the whole time. I was chopping up the mushrooms, chopping up the chili, and the avocado was just sitting there the whole time just watching me.